Konnichiwa. Right on schedule. Do you find the new blue screen exotic LMG confusing as all hell? Well, good news, banditos. You can finally pull it out of your stash because help and a new build is on the way. Welcome to the Division 2 Agent Support Line. For membership information, press 1. For bounties, press 2. For bonus miles information, press 3. For weapon support, press 4. We have currently suspended our weapon support services as our tech's whereabouts are completely Hello. unknown. Not in our country! <laughs> Resume service as soon as someone who knows anything can be found. Thank you. I was excited to get the new blue screen exotic LMG, but I've never had a new exotic go from cash to stash so quickly. First impressions didn't have the blue screen coming out swinging, and the weapon talent description definitely played a role. So I took the blue screen to the build lab on Twitch, where all of my builds are made and tested live with the community in unedited gameplay. And now we deliver to you this absolutely fantastic and unique blue screen team support build for legendary and heroic content. It buffs your team, debuffs the enemy, controls the crowd, and has enough damage to hold its own. The blue screen has a medium sized mag and damage to targets out of cover and damage to armor. It's slower than the GR9 with the higher base weapon damage, and all of the mods are dedicated to some sort of weapon handling attribute. The swept rounds. Shoot enemies to mark them and to build stacks up to 50. Use a skill to trigger a status effect to all marked enemies. The possible status effects are pulse, disrupt, and disorient. At full 50 stacks, there is a creepy death effect to enemies within 10 meters of a marked target. What the description doesn't tell you is that 1. The effect duration will always be 5 seconds and you can't improve this. 2. Triggering an effect means you're starting all over. Remark and restack to 50 again. 3. At 50 stacks, allies can kill a marked enemy to trigger the status effects for you. And after testing solo and in team play, I learned the single most important thing was marking targets. That's it. That's all that matters. That's all I care about. That's because the blue screen must always have marked targets to work. No marked targets, no stacks. No stacks, no status effects. That means you want to always be shooting, and you don't want to run this LMG on a build that contradicts that. Shout out to all the Banditos and Tuxus Players Club for supporting the channel and the Division 2 community in all the ways that you do. To say thank you, I create extra builds for Tuxus Players Club as member perks. You can find all of your member perks in this playlist at the top of my channel homepage. Make sure your notifications are turned on too. If if you're not part of Texas Players Club, it's time you join the strong, positive community. Link here in the corner and in the description area below. So listen up. If you're thinking of running the blue screen with the status effect skill build, let me save you some time. Your consumable status effect skills like Riot Foam are way more effective than the five second duration of the blue screen. And each skill tier you add weakens the blue screen's damage to the point you'd be better off maximizing the use of your skills over the LMG for crowd control. Then you're not marking many targets or building any stacks. Okay, that said, there's magic happening with this weapon paired up with the biomask. Yes, the blue screen's effects trigger the vile mask. This adds a whole new dynamic to the vile mask. The vile mask has toxic delivery that damages enemies under status effects. There is no limit to the range of the blue screen vile damage combo. As long as the target is marked and you have stacks, they can take vile damage, even if that enemy is outside the range of your skills. That is very unique and will change the way you play with the blue screen. To activate the vile damage, you simply have to 
deploy a skill. For example, I am using the quick deploy feature on the healing cam. All I have to do is double tap my bumper to quickly drop a heal. And voila, the whole field is disrupted and taken bio damage. You don't have to hit anybody with riot foam. You don't have to pulse anything. Just use your skill. With this build, for the first time ever, my healing skill is triggering damage to the enemies. I repeat, my healing skill is triggering damage to the enemies. I can heal myself. I can heal an ally. I can even heal a turret. Anytime I deploy a skill, it triggers blue screen status effects and activates Vile's damage debuff. Wow. Be on the lookout for any skill with the short cooldown that doesn't distract you from doing your number one job. Marking enemies and building stacks. That's all you care about. We're running four pieces of true Patriot. This is preventing potential ammo issues as well as giving us a larger mag. It's also giving us the red, white, and blue talent to support the team. We're mostly after the red buff and with the backpack, marked targets have 12% amplified damage from all sources. All pieces have weapon damage and status effects. I chose two skill tiers and four red damage cores. The skill tiers are to buff my healing, not to buff any potential status effect skill. Remember, a high skill tier status effect skill build weakens the blue screen's use case. Again, you'd be better off just using your riot phone if you did that, and the uptime on your phone would make using the blue screen very tedious to the point you'd be better off abandoning it. I must point out that you can add more skill tiers to add a stronger team healing element to the build. Since we're always shooting, marking targets, and building stacks, I decided on red weapon damage cores instead. If we're not running status effect skills, you might be asking, why all the status effects? effects. Status effect attributes make the vile masks damage stronger. So does explosive damage and that's why we're running Demolitionists. At Tux's Discord, we've created a central hub for the entire Division 2 community. We have countdown group up channels, clans, build channels, raids, and more. This is not an elitist or a raid only environment. It's a place that empowers agents to connect and share. If you want to enrich your offline or in-game Division 2 experience, this is the place to be. You're officially invited. This is making our vials damage stronger and also giving our allies more damage to targets out of cover. And I have the China light chess piece with the skill tier status effect skill haste and glass cannon. I tested this chess piece against the golden sacrifice with perfect glass cannon and this chest makes the vial ticks way stronger and we're taking less damage. The mods are up to you. For me, I balanced in some repair skills, but don't over spec into skill haste. For legendary, it's easier to get the blue screen's 50 stacks on those tankier targets. And your allies trigger the status effects by killing a marked target more often than you think. That means the whole field will undergo status effects as well as Vile's damage debuff without you using your skill. That's a huge deal. Your team, for the first time ever, is now able to trigger your Vile mask. Very unique. And it's just another reason you want to always be shooting and marking targets and building your stats to 50 so your team has more enemy options to trigger your status effects and debuffs without you having to use a skill at all. This Scorpio Eclipse weapon damage build will open your eyes to new possibilities. Uh -huh.